Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about double integrals and triple integrals. So now I will show you how to answer. About the first one, we see that we have the r in here. That means we need to do integration for r. And we know that the integral of r you will got about r square over 2 and we put the bounds in here from 0 to 2 sine theta and we put cosine theta square going here so we put 2 sine theta going here and number 0 going here so we will go about the integral from 0 to b over 2 and we got about 4 sine theta square minus number 0 because this is about the bottom to the power of 2 over number 2 and we have cosine theta square d theta and now we simplify and we got about the integral from 0 to b over 2 and we got about 4 sine theta square cosine theta square over number 2 d theta so in this situation we can put about Two sine theta cosine theta everything to the power of two over two and we know that two sine theta cosine theta that's about sine two theta this is about identity Next, we have the formula in here, and we know that psi a square we can change into one minus cosine two a over two. So we have side 2 theta square we can change into 1 minus cosine 4 theta over 2 and we put this one in here multiply by number 2 in here So number 2 and number 2, you got about 1 over 4. And this one, we got about 1 minus cosine 4 theta. D theta. And we got a final answer. The integral of number 1, you got about theta. The integral of cosine 4 theta, you got about 1 over 4 sine 4 theta. And we have about 4 0 to b over 2. So we put b over 2 going here and here. Number 0 going here and here. And we got a final answer. We have 1 over 4 multiplied by b over 2 because everything in here they got about 0 
and now we got about b over 8 and this is the final answer for question number 1 question number 2 we do the same we do the integral of r square and we will got about r to the power of 3 over 3 and we have the bounds from 3 multiplied by 1 plus cosine theta and we have number 0 in here and we put about sine theta d theta so we put this one go in here number 0 go in here and we got about 27 1 plus cosine theta everything to the power of 3 multiplied by sine theta we divide by 3 in here Twenty seven divided by three, you got about nine. And now we just have this one left. So in this situation, I will use about interaction by substitution. So I will put about u equal to 1 plus cosine theta. So if we do first the derivative, you got about du equal to negative sine theta. d theta. Because we don't have the negative sign here. So we put the negative next to the u. Now we need to change the bounds. So if theta equal to number 0. So we put number 0 going here to find the value of u and you got about 2 if theta equal to b so we put b going here and we got about u equals to number 0 because 1 minus 1 you got about 0 and now we have the new one from number 0 we change for number 2 num about b we change for number 0 1 plus cosine theta we change for u sine theta d theta we change for negative du and now we got the final answer so we put number 0 going here number 2 going here because this is about the bottom you got about negative with another negative you got about positive and we have 2 to the power of 4 over 4 and this one about 0 you got about negative number 9 0 to the power of 4 over 4 plus this one so we calculate and we got the final answer that's about 36 and this is the final answer now let's go to the last one so we have the s the integral of e to the power of s that's still e to the power of s so you got about e to the power of s and we have the bounds from 0 to y plus z and we have e y e z d y d z so we put this one going here number 0 going here
and we go about e to the power of y plus z so we have e y e z because e s with number zero you go about negative in here because this is about the bottom e to the power of zero you go about one so you go about e y e z and we have the bounds so we simplify this one e y and e y so you go about e two y and e two z minus e y e z d y d z so we have d y so we just do this interaction in here and here so we got about 0 to number 1 and we got about e to the power of 2 y over 2 and we have the bounds from 0 to z this one we have e to z this one we have e to the power of y and we have the bounds from 0 to z and we have e z everything d z so we put z gone here number 0 gone here similar for the second one And the next one, now we need to simplify everything in here. e for z minus e to z and we have number two in here this one we got about negative e z and we have two z because e z multiplied with e z you got about e to z and we got about positive e z d z and now we got the final answer this one negative 1 over 2 and negative you got about negative 3 over 2 So the integral of e to the power of 4z, you got about e to the power of 4z over 4 and we have number 2. So that means we got about e to the power of 4z over 8. Similar for this one, you got about 3 e to the power of 2z over 4. And this one you got about e to the power of z. And we put the bounds in here. So we put number 1 going here, number 0 going here. So you will call about e to the power of 4 over 8 minus 3 e to the power of 2 over 4 plus e minus 1 over 8 minus 3 over 4 plus 1. And now we simplify. And we got about 3 over 8. This is the end. Thank you for watching.